I had the wonderful opportunity this past year I'm to... Sorry, louder, please. I had an opportunity this past year to study human rights law in Hebrew University on Mount Scopus. Yes. And what I'm most worried about is the impression you're giving of the basic legislation that has been passed in the Knesset before you were a member of the Knesset, how you've manipulated that legislation to give people here the impression that the Jewish state supports you when, in fact, you were banded from the Knesset and you are not allowed, nor is your party allowed, anywhere near the parliament in Israel. <laughs> My dear young woman, I have not given the impression that the Jewish state backs me, whatever that means. What I'm saying is that for someone who is apparently liberal, you show a strange tendency not to be upset at the fact that a legally elected party was banned. I, ex ex excuse me, I'm still speaking. <laughs> Had the same Knesset banned a leftist party on the grounds that they advocate soldiers not serve in the territories and therefore pose a threat to the, a, a clear and present danger to Israel, you and your friends at Hebrew U would be climbing the walls, and I don't mean the Western Wall. <laughs> Indeed, had an Arab party, which is openly PLO, that of Miari, had they been banned, you would have climbed two walls. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm not finished yet, and we all know that in a liberal society, one person speaks and not two people. You spoke, I was quiet, because I am in tremendously polite both to men and women. <laughs> so now it's my turn. Now it's my turn. And afterwards, you can go back there and answer me. But right now, I'm speaking. That's called liberalism. Now, if you were really liberal, you would, as Alan Dershowitz did, protest strongly at the outrageous banning of a party elected in a democratic fashion, because that opens the doors tomorrow to banning other parties, which you may like, but which I don't like. The banning of the Kach movement was a tragedy for democracy inside Israel. And therefore, I want you to know, it gave me a great precedent. Because in the end, I'm going to run again. I wasn't banned. The Kach party was banned. We'll change the name. We'll move the platform around a little bit. It'll be a moving platform. And we'll run. And this, no, no, because I'm not finished yet. You must learn patience. Don't be an extremist, really. You must learn patience. You, you have to learn patience. I will tell you when I'm, when I'm finished, and then you go back there at the microphone and speak, as long as you want, because I have patience. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to run again. And if I run, when I run, and when I get the kind of seats which was the reason why I was banned, not for racism, I was banned because the Likud and the right wing and Labour were terrified at what the polls were showing, how many seats I would get. That's why I was banned, and that doesn't even, even bother you. Because liberals are a selective breed par excellence. It all depends on whose ox is being gored. So therefore, when I run and I list a, a bill to ban the parties that you like and base it upon the precedent of me, I don't want to hear a peep out of you because after all, I base it upon the precedent that you cheered here. Now go up there and answer me. But they can't hear you. I can hear her. But I'm not talking to you. I said they and you and you as... Let the people not, decide if they can hear her. You are not they as yet. Absolutely. The fact of the matter is that the state of Israel doesn't back Shimon Peres either. The state of Israel doesn't back Shamir. The state of Israel doesn't back anybody. There are, there are voters who back particular parties. And that is a fact. Uh, indeed, if you went to Israel or if Mort went and ran, I think I'd get a lot more votes than either you or Mort. That's for sure. Yes, sir. <laughs> 